Welcome to Leon's Bizarre Adventure. By the end of this video, you'll be amazed by the most interesting and craziest facts about cat whiskers. Stay tuned until the end, and I guarantee you'll never see your cat the same way again. Number 1. Exquisitely Sensitive Having whiskers is what makes our feline companions unique. However, they are not your typical hairs, rather, they constitute an intricate sensory system that gives cats a thorough awareness of their surroundings. Compared to regular fur, the whiskers are ingrained in the skin far more deeply. There is an abundance of nerves and blood in the region surrounding cat whiskers. Because of this, the tips of the whiskers are extremely sensitive and can sense even the smallest shift in the direction of a breeze. In the follicles, there are sensory neurons that go to the brain to give information about tactile interactions interactions with the environment. The incredible sensitivity of cat whiskers is due to the numerous nerve endings found in the follicles. These nerves send signals to the cat's brain, providing real-time information about its surroundings. Cat's exceptional sensitivity enables them to recognize alterations in their surroundings. Because of their ability to detect even the smallest changes in air pressure, cats are able to maneuver through narrow areas and dark corners without running into anything. Number 2. Not just on the nose. While it's common knowledge that cats have whiskers on their muzzles, not everyone knows that cats have whiskers in other locations throughout their bodies. Cats have whiskers on their muzzles and chins, above their upper lips, above their eyes, by their ears, and on their forelegs. Each location serves a different purpose and helps the cat interact with the world in unique ways. The most well-known locations for cat whiskers are on the muzzle, chin, and upper lip. These whiskers are extra helpful when it comes to hunting prey. They can detect even the tiniest changes in airflow, allowing cats to locate prey or even predators that might be trying to hunt them down. Whiskers above the eye Eyes, often referred to as eyebrow whiskers or superciliary whiskers, act like eyelashes for cats. They trigger a protective blink reflex to keep the cat's eyes safe from danger. Whiskers by the ears, also known as cheek whiskers, can help detect objects and movements to the side of the cat's face. Now, when it comes to whiskers on the forelegs, also known as carpal whiskers, they are long, thin hairs that grow on the back of a cat's front legs. Number 3. Spatial Awareness Whiskers are a cat's secret weapon for navigating their environment. Among the most vital functions whiskers carry out for cats is to aid with spatial perception. Generally speaking, your cat's nose whiskers are the same length as its width. They can determine whether they will fit through an opening and its width thanks to this. This is especially helpful in dimly lit areas or cramped quarters where their vision may be compromised. The sensitive whiskers can detect air currents and vibrations, alerting cats to the proximity of obstacles. They can move forward and backward, allowing the cat to explore its environment more effectively. This movement also helps protect the whiskers from damage when the cat brushes against objects or surfaces. In addition to detecting objects, a cat's whiskers are also critical for balance and coordination. When a cat is walking or jumping, its whiskers point forward, almost like a sensor array. This positioning allows the cat to get a better sense of its surroundings and make more accurate movements. Number 4. Hunting Aid once a cat pounces on their prey and has it in their paws, their whiskers help them see the tussle with it and deliver the fatal bite. This is particularly important because cats are somewhat far-sighted and have trouble focusing on objects close up. When stalking prey, cats also use their whiskers to detect any movement in the air caused by the prey's breathing or movements. Cat whiskers can contain proprioceptors which use gravity's pull on the whiskers to tell the brain the position of the cat's body and limbs at all times. This contributes to their ability to land on their feet. Number 5. Emotional Barometer Cat whiskers are not just sensory tools, but also emotional barometers. They can provide valuable insights into a cat's emotional state. When a cat is happy, contented, or relaxed, its whiskers are in a neutral position slightly to the side. This indicates that the cat is at ease and comfortable in its environment. When a cat's interest is engaged or it's excited, its whiskers pull forward and fan out. The mouth is closed with loose lips and the muzzle appears slightly plumped up. This is a sign that the cat is alert and focused on something. As fear, anxiety, and stress increase, whiskers begin to move slightly back. If these feelings escalate, whiskers pull back further. This is a clear sign that the cat is feeling threatened or scared. Whiskers pull back tightly to the face signal aggression. In the case of offensive aggression, whiskers and ears point forward. It's important to heed this warning and give the cat some space. Number 6. Made of Keratin Whiskers are made from keratin, 
which is the same protein found in hair, fur, feathers, and nails. However, while regular hair is soft and lustrous, whiskers are thicker than regular hair. They are as much as two to three times thicker and stronger than the hair found in your cat's coat. Whiskers grow much deeper in the skin than regular hair follicles and are much stiffer. Each whisker root is jam-packed with 100 to 200 nerve cells that communicate directly to the brain. When a whisker moves, even slightly, the brain receives info. The higher blood and nerve supply to the root of the whiskers allow them to provide sensory information to cats. These whiskers are called vibrissae, which means to vibrate, and you might, in fact, notice them twitching or quivering from time to time. Number 7. Independent Movement The whiskers that dot a cat's muzzle are known as mystical whiskers, and their movement is controlled by muscular contractions. Individual whiskers can't move independently, but the ones on the right side of the muzzle can move independently of the ones on the left. This allows cats to have a more detailed and nuanced understanding of their environment. Long whiskers, specifically those on the muzzle, have a muscle sling at the base that allows them to move independently and a larger muscle to move them all at once. This means that cats can move their whiskers in different directions depending on what they are trying to sense. Short whiskers like the ones on the chin can't be moved, but are crucial in transmitting even more specific information about an object to the brain. These whiskers are shorter and stiffer, and they provide cats with a more detailed sense of their immediate surroundings. In fact, 40% of the cat's brain is devoted to areas with whiskers. Number 8. Whiskers change color. Cat whiskers can change color. This can be due to aging or health reasons. When cats are born, the roots of their whiskers are usually found deeper than the pigment layer, and without pigment to harvest, they grow out in white color. As that changes during the cat's lifetime, whiskers will catch some amount of pigment, and their whiskers will turn black, sometimes partially, sometimes completely. Number 9. Whiskers should never be cut. Cutting them results in a loss of sensory input and can be an extremely painful experience. No matter how long they get, you must let their whiskers be. If you cut or trim a cat's whiskers, it can disrupt its natural balance and ability to navigate and judge distances. This can lead to disorientation and decreased mobility, potentially causing harm or discomfort to the cat. Clipping your cat's whiskers would be like taking away part of their vision or sense of smell. Doing so would be highly disorienting for your feline. As you already know, there are whiskers on the chin, cheeks, and above the eyes. This is a strategically placed item. Although dirt and debris can sometimes sneak inside and cause harm, the whiskers are able to identify them before they reach this close. This signals to your cat to turn its head or close its eyes as a protective measure. The length of a cat's whiskers is also intentional. A cat's whiskers correspond to the width of its body. Cats with long whiskers tend to be larger breeds or fatter cats. This helps them judge if they can fit inside a particular space. That's why it's so difficult to sneak up on a cat, even if it appears to be sleeping. 